Hello YouTube, this is Quantum X and I'm back on Circuit Della Spa with the BMW Z4 GT3. And right now I'm behind my old car. Hello old car. You're gonna need to get through there. So the main issue I had with this car in the beginning was simply put the brakes are very, very touchy. I soon realized that most of that was because I had uh when I had the controller, I had a forward brake bias on the car for some odd reason. I don't know why I have a forward brake bias on this car, but what it did basically made the rear end weightless, as I call it, and it spun me around. So what I did was I increased a little bit of braking sensitivity, the LSD, to keep the wheels from turning when I hit the brakes. Well, basically to just not put as much uh, power on the outside wheel and uh, and I adjusted the brakes so that I have less in the front so that that in itself would defeat the some of the weightlessness I was having and right now it's working out pretty well although the real test is going to be that uh, one high speed pointer going on to the uh, last S or chicane section whatever you call it before you hit the main street and start the finish line is and, um, uh, this is the first car I bought when the game came. Like, the first big car I bought, because, uh, it was just one of the cars that I was waiting for in GT5, and never really got in GT5. And, uh, I tried to set it up like this car, and it just did not have enough power. I got to see more stock in GT5, I set it all up, and it was just slow. It was very slow. So, uh, I'm just happy that they put this car in. And I'm happy they put the amount of design work they did in the cockpit because this just looks amazing. I, I feel like I'm actually racing. I'm doing a commentary, which is. There's that corner. Okay, I fixed the brakes. At least to a pretty good degree. Back to the S section. Just went straight over the rumble strip by the boss. Because bosses drive straight over the rumble strips. And we're back to the start. So, yeah. Uh, if you're wondering where the highlight reel is, it is still in production. I was uh, recording all of the clips for it this uh, last night. Because it's now 12, so that would be last night. I was recording all the clips for it, and I realized that it basically took two hours for the first set of incidents just to record them. I mean, putting them together is going to be slightly less time, I'd say. Oh my god, they're clones. Look at them. Look at them go! Yeah, um, slightly less time than recording them is because recording and finding them and is a hassle. I just can't wait until I get to the editing portion because that in my opinion, is the funnest part besides the racing. The racing is a blast, but that's because I have a bias towards wet weather. Actually, I don't. I hate wet weather, but apparently my racing skills tend to work in wet weather. I just passed him on the outside. Good for me. <laughs> that would not happen in an online race, and if it did, I'd probably be spinning out dead into a wall see my body like gonna crumble my character's probably freaked out with the motion and shaking his wheel <laughs> anyway uh yeah I reduced the downforce on this thing because this almost had like 700 and 500 downforce on it and, uh, that is definitely not necessary on a Z4 which is a fairly good handling car already, so I don't need as much down. What are you doing, man? Get the power down! Yeah. This guy. His, his brother Z4 is, is getting on my nerves. He's going really slow through some of the sections, and I have less downforce. Yeah! Saved it. Win! But, um, yeah. The AI 
I, I know I touched on this last video, but yeah, in this game, just really make me infuriatingly mad on corner entry and corner exit. They're fine in the middle of the corner, but when you put them in the front or the back of the corner, you just feel like you're going slow. Just miserably, miserably slow sometimes. Okay, entry is not as bad as exit, because exit sometimes it feels like they don't even attempt to put the power down. They just sit there and hope that you can get around them in, like, a one-space section of the corner. Or, I mean, track. Yeah. Did I mention that talk and drive? I'm sorry. Anyway, with this talk and drive, we have touched the highlight reel. Another race, Motegi Oval Monday. That is going to be very interesting. We're probably going to see a lot of people. Oh, God. I just completely missed that turn. We're probably going to see some people starting to go four and three wide. Or I'm expecting to see a four wide on the last lap. Because everyone's going to try and beat someone by a turn. Mission. My transmission is dying. I'm just kidding, this is Grand Turismo. There's no engine damage simulation unless you put the damage on heavy and ram, ram your car into something at like 20 miles an hour. <laughs> I remember getting damage at 15 miles an hour, which did not make any sense getting engine damage at 15 miles an hour, but then again, in real life, you probably would do more than that. 15 miles an hour. You'd probably wreck one of your axles or something. So, I mean, I've seen it happen. If you go to watch the uh, 2012 uh, Le Mans race, the guy in the RE team basically wrecks his car at like, I think 15, 20 miles an hour through the chicane. I'm not sure if anyone remembers that, but that was funny. It's even funnier to watch him then get out and rip the front end off of his car. And you see me lose control there because I couldn't figure out where I could put down the brakes because I put them down the wrong spot on that corner in a GT car and it spins around sporadically as you saw there. So it gets tons of oversteer in the back. No way to front and it's just a mess from there on out. So I guess the best solution was if you're going to hit the brakes. Make sure you get what? How slow are you going? Make sure you get some gas through there, and uh, that guy took advantage of that opportunity. I was going way too slow because that other guy just said, ah, "I'm gonna stay here. You gotta deal with me." I get him on El Rouge though because these guys are very slow through El Rouge. Ooh. If you're asking about why the fact I'm doing an AI race on International A Spec again, because every time I get online, I never find a GT3 race, slash Formula GT race, slash anything that I actually like to drive. I mean, yeah, you could say there's a bunch of streetcar races, but I do not know how to tune for streetcars. Actually, streetcars annoy me with the handling that they introduced in this game. In the other games, streetcars are pretty fun. When I tried to race them in this game, they're like, I guess, harder to control while going fast. And yeah, you saw me bump him out of the way because he was being a moving chicane. And I don't like that. At all. No moving chicanes in my track. Or the Frenchman's track. Or the Frenchman's track. I don't care anymore. And those are, I think those are the two. Rumble strips, love me. No, they don't. <laughs> they keep almost spinning my car and then never spinning my car. It's like it upsets the suspension and then the suspension fixes itself. Now, I'm not sure if it's A, my tuning, or B, the fact that I'm not applying any gas in the rumble strips, but who really gives a damn? We're back at the high speed set. Oh, God, no, 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 no. Oh, God, what the hell? My screen just went completely blackout mode, Jesus. Okay, are you gonna cut me off or you let me through? Cut me off or let me through? Yep, 
I did it. I stole that dive bomb style. Oh, that wasn't even the last lap. I didn't even have to do that. I thought it was the last lap. That was pretty cheeky. I might just slow down and let him pass me. <laughs> this is how slow the AI can be. You can literally slow down, let them pass you, and just get your spot back. Because they do things like that through El Rouge. Where you can just catch up in two seconds and... Blow past them on the streets. Just blow straight past them. Oh! No! Whoa, 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 whoa. He probably... I'm not sure whether he should have backed off or I should have backed off. I thought I was backing off, but... The AI don't know how to read things, so I guess I can't... Oh, whoa. Missing the downshifts here. Jesus Christ, this track, this car, that guy, that AI, I mean. Uh, guy would be a step up. I like F1 2013 AI. They need to put it in this game. They really do. At least it's like a huge step up from, hey, I can't see anyone's car other than my own type of AI. And yes, the F1 2013 AI do that online mode because on online mode they get decent and become mentally and physically retarded. You could put. You could put. A whole car barricade on the track at a low speed corner in the F1 2013 AI online would literally run through it at maximum speed. They wouldn't even attempt to hit the brakes. They're just like, yep, we're going through it. It's happening. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. And then they just blow themselves up. So, kamikaze cars online. Highlight reel should be done by Tuesday. Whenever I get done with all my stuff, my work, and so on and so forth. And hopefully, I'll be able to make a tips and tricks video on this game, on tuning setups, and um, other things people would be interested in. But um, that's it for the race. As I made it in first place by, I'd say, a pretty fair landslide margin. And um, see you guys next time. I'm out. Bye.